Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wow Crendor, and I wanted to talk about something today, which is, uh, somewhat, it's an interesting topic. And I saw it on WoW Insider, because I was browsing the internets, and I looked at WoW Insider, and they had a topic on World of Warcraft 2. And it was from a forum post about, uh, somebody saying, oh, I wish there was a WoW 2, and it just had better graphics, and, you know, cool questing systems like Guild Wars 2 and whatever. And... The blue post guy, the blizzard guy, was just like, well, we can do that in expansions. Like, there's no need to make an entirely new game just for that. And that made me think, if they made a WoW 2, it would have to be revolutionary. Even if they made any other type of MMO, if they made, like, a StarCraft MMO, it would have to be revolutionary. It would have to be the equivalent of going from those old, like, flip-top phones over to an iPhone. Like, the iPhone changed the phone market. It made smartphones become the standard. And it took a little bit, but eventually, smartphones, it's like everybody has a smartphone. It has to be that type of thing. Like, the revolutionary change of the old MMO model, which is based off leveling and grinding and all that stuff, and move it into a new system. And how you would... How that system would work, I have no idea. I'm sure if I got time and got paid to be a game developer, I would be doing that, thinking about that all the time. But I'm not. I don't do that. I just make videos about generic things. Uh, but I was I was wondering, because there are some people like, well, would my characters get transferred over? And I was just like, no. Like, all you want is an expansion. You don't want a new game. Because a new game would change everything. It would it would change everything. So, for example, uh, when we look at Cataclysm, Cataclysm changed the game. It changed the zones of the game. It updated graphics of the game. Like, those are a lot of things people want, and they can be done just through expansions. But when you want something entirely new... It's a lot harder to make. So look at Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 tried to change the way questing's done and leveling's done and all that, but they made it better? I'd say they made it better, but it's it's pretty much the same thing. So if you uh, are out doing a quest in Guild Wars 2, there's you have like various types of quests. There's the heart quests, which are like always there. And there's the events, which just randomly pop up. The problem is, so let's say you do a heart quest. It's pretty much go out there and either you get to choose which grind you're going to do. It's like, are you going to collect ten water bottles? Are you going to drink five coffee cups? Like, what are you going to do? And all you have to do in WoW to have that system is take your thumb... Cover up the thing that says collect ten boars, like collect ten boar tusks, and c cover up the ten, and then add a little bar above it, and it just says collect boar tusks, and watch the bar fill up, and there you go. You've implemented the system into World of Warcraft. Now, mm. coffee. Now, that's not saying it would be a bad thing, because Guild Wars 2 has made questing a little more, uh... What's the word? Open? It's more... Oh, it's less linear. Like in WoW, you have the... Go to this quest. You've now completed this quest, and you will move on to this quest. And that's part of what I liked about old WoW, even though... It was... There's no quest helper, and there's no... You know... Uh... Go here, and here's the zone where you'll, where you'll do stuff. I like exploring in games... And so I loved going around and, like, finding random quests and being like, Oh, I could do this! And, I don't know, that's what I like. I like exploring games. And so with Guild Wars 2, it is pretty cool where I can go to a town and have a little interactive adventure happen where I can go to this guy who's guarding a note. What happened? I had some, like, crazy thing happen. There's this guy, and he was guarding, like, an amulet or something, and... There's this other guy who's like, we need to steal that amulet. And so he runs in, and you gotta help him steal the amulet. And this dude's like, no, I won't let you. So if you fail to steal the amulet, the guy keeps it, and he summons 
like this demon thing, and the demon thing just destroys the town. But if you didn't help him, it would change the way all that played out. The problem is with an MMO, it has to reset at some point. So after like an hour or half an hour or whatever, the whole thing resets. So you're kind of, you can, you can go back there and do it again, but it's, at that point it's becoming more scripted and less open. And the only way you could really change that is if you made the leveling experience more single player. Which, when you think about it, even though it's an MMO, Star Wars kind of went that way, but it was still boring questing. It, if you added that, like, interactiveness with, like, a single player quest line, and what you did really, in fact, like, changed the game permanently in your area, that would be awesome. But there would be, there's so many, like, questions that go into that. This is why it's so hard to, like, revolutionize the MMO genre, because you have to change the way these things are done, but you still have to make it so people have to work for things and have to, and that's going to encourage grinding. And it's, it's, there's, ugh. But the main thing that makes Quest fun is the story. So, for example, if there's a, I'm just going to go back to boars. If there's a boar farm, right? You know what? No, we're going with wolves. There's a farmer and his land is getting attacked by wolves. And you go over to him and maybe he's like, I need help, kill ten wolves. Like, you're going to be like, okay, I don't really care, this is just grinding. But if the farmer is like, oh, the wolves are attacking my farm, please, I need your help, you're going to be like, all right, I could help you. But if you're like, if this farmer is, let's say he gathers some special herb that you need, right? He gathers, uh, I don't know, let's say there's cauliflower. He, he's a cauliflower farmer, and it turns out that cauliflower lets you create a dye that lets you change the color of your armor, right? You're like, whoa, I really need some cauliflower. But this farmer's like, oh, these wolves are attacking, and without your help, all the cauliflower is going to be gone for, like, a week. Like, that would be insane to have that happen, and then have the quest impact the economy. Like, that would be crazy. And it would also add story to it. So even though you're grinding, it feels like you're grinding for a purpose. And that would be a cool system. It's just, when you do that, it's, that's why it has to be single player. Because if you do that and your quest impacts the game, somebody else would have to be able to do that. Or they, like, I don't, it's, you get what I mean? You get what I mean? It would, only one person could help do that. Unless it was like a big event. But even then, if you missed out on the event, you're screwed. So that's why it would have to be like phased. There would be, have to be there would have to be a lot of phasing and multiplayer or single player type elements. But even then, it would have to impact the economy. So the single it's it's so confusing. This is why I spent like an hour thinking of all this, and I was just like I would think of something really cool like that, and I'd be like, oh wait, that wouldn't work. <laughs> you gotta like do stuff. And, I don't know, but there's, there's, it's so crazy to think about all these things. And I thought about what if there was no leveling? What if you just started the game and everybody was just awesome? Like, you didn't have to progress upward or anything. Mmm. More coffee. And that, it kind of happens like that in EVE Online. But EVE Online is still, like, it's leveling without knowing you're leveling. It's kind of the same thing as... Guild Wars 2, where you're questing without knowing you're questing. It's still questing. You're just, it's a little more open. So, with EVE Online, you're like, yeah, we all start at the same level. I can see all the good people and whatever. And it's like, oh, wait, you have to level up all your skills, and it takes, like, a year to be as good as that other guy. So, too bad. <laughs> and that's part of the problem with EVE Online. But it has a big enough player base uh, that has gone through all that to keep going. And it's a really fun game once you get up to that level, because the economy is, like, amazing. But it's there's that's the problem with all these MMO challenges. Like, I would love to see a single-player RPG where it was that detailed with, like, like a Skyrim-type thing with better combat and more interactive quests like that where 
you do something and it impacts the world, like, for a decent amount of time, like a week, that would be cool. Uh, but it's... I would like a StarCraft MMO, actually, because that would add a... That would be a third faction. And that would be a cool thing to have. Three factions? There'd be a lot of people complaining, like, Oh, this faction doesn't get as much... They get as many players. It sucks. I don't know. <laughs> it's... It's a, it's a tricky thing to talk about. So I'm just wondering, what are your opinions on something like a WoW 2? Personally... I don't know if I'd want a WoW 2. I think I'd rather have just a revolutionary MMO. Whether that be, it could be Warcraft, but I don't want them to just like make a Warcraft game just to make a Warcraft game. Like, it'd have to be good. I'd rather have something like Starcraft where it's gonna be really, like, cool to have three factions or something like that. But... What are your opinions? What are your opinions on all this? I want to hear them. And uh, give me ideas. Say how you think you could change the old system. How you could revolutionize the old system. Because it's it's stumped me. And now I'm really, like, curious. I'm like, how could you change it? So leave your comments below. And I'm going to read them all because I'm really interested in this. Okay? Okay. Bye.